used to be that just about any medical problem required a long trip into a city where there was adequate care. And between Dallas and Denver, there were very few options. A little more than a year ago, Borger opened up the new Golden Plains Community Hospital to what many, like CEO Dennis Jack, believe is the new face of rural health care. And do some of the procedures here that can be done here that don't need to be done down in Amarillo. As uh, the population grows and our population ages, the big referral hospitals don't have capacity. They're full. And so the rural hospitals, if they want to survive, have to provide more of those services. And new facilities like this are doing just that. In Borger, four new doctors, including a full-time surgeon and OBGYN, a 25-bed unit that's ready for expansion when needed, cutting art radiology, and all built from the ground up in a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of a new facility. We put everything we could into this hospital. We, we thought we had an opportunity to build a brand new hospital, probably not going to come around for a long time in the future. And it's really changing the face of rural health care across the area. No longer are you required to drive to Amarillo, Oklahoma City, or Lubbock for treatment on a wide variety of ailments or medical procedures. We can handle it. Um, we have very ill patients come in through our ER and we take care of them. We put you on a ventilator if you need it. We, we can manage that here. Uh, we have some very fine quality doctors that I would hold up against the doctors in Amarillo. But what about towns that don't have a brand new hospital? There are other concerns that people at places like Texas Tech are already addressing. Uh, it is not high tech stuff. It's the, the, the simple way is the better way. The, the symptom of what we have in rural, rural West Texas is, is, uh, is a microcosm of a condition that affects this entire nation. And finding those answers about better rural health care is what we'll focus on in the second part of this series. Steve Myers, Pro News 7.